All right, so we're gonna go over the this shunt mod for an e-bike controller, and um, I was gonna actually do a full solder job on this. Uh, what you can see here, here are the two shunt posts, and what those do are monitor the flow of current going from going through the controller, so that the controller can limit the amount of current going into the MOSFETs. Um, typically, any e-bike e controllers are going to be designed for one part, and so they will just derate a controller to fit a certain power requirement. And one way you can get around that is by adding um, either solder material between those two shunt posts or an actual piece of wire. That's my preferred method. Um, I was going to do the solder job on this, but my soldering iron is completely burnt out. Um, I'm transferring into a new shop right now, and so uh, what I will do though is show an example of one that I've already done. Put this one aside. So. This is um, just another e-bike controller. It's actually uh, 52, 62 volt nominal. So you can choose between the two. And then 90 amps. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it'll do more than that. Um, it's actually got, I think, 100 volt caps. And basically all we do to take this off All right, so we got that cover off. Um, in addition, there are some uh, the heat sink screws, so a couple under the sticker here. Don't mind the, the kitty and the Layla. This is Layla, the shop dog. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. All right, so I pulled that out, and again, this is one that I've already done. And since it's at 90 amps, and I believe I've got, let's see, these are K150s. So these are 150 amp um, MOSFETs, and there's three, five on each phase. Yeah, so there's five. 550 amp actually there's 10 on each phase so um, it's, uh, end channels so there's one on the input and then one on the output of the phase and just because I didn't want to go crazy um, with this and I'm also looking into doing an actual software mods or firmware mods on this chip I'm pretty sure it's a yeah, but essentially this has got the same thing where you can see here just put some solder on the you know again just I'm trying to test out to see what um, what increases are able to be done through here versus um, through firmware. You can see this uh, board has a lot better traces. This actually has soldered on copper. Um, I guess they'd be CNC routed out little plate, copper plates that are put on top of PCB in order to give you a lot, lot better current handling capabilities. Um, copper traces within the PCB are usually pretty terrible and it just you can't get significant amounts of copper in a PCB um, and so that's why they go to having wires or just soldered on traces that give you the same level of current but through a flat piece of copper 
But so that is essentially it. You're, all you're doing is putting solder on those bars or even adding or replacing the bars with pure copper to give you huge amounts of um, current over the stock system.